I have been so busy this week. If you saw from my last three day vlog, it is the last day of November and tomorrow I will officially start Vlogmas. Hello everyone, welcome to Thursday, November 29th, 2018. So today is Friday Eve, like I like to call it. I'm also wearing one of my favorite shirts and this one says, you've got a math problem, yo, I'll solve it. And of course, this is making a reference to the song by Vanilla Ice, Ice Ice Baby. I will link in the description box like I always do. And I also have my new lanyard from Lily Pop. And this is a pastel rainbow one. This is the first time I'm wearing it. I thought this was a cute outfit to wear it with. Basically, I'm wearing some light color jeans. I'm wearing a long sleeve fuchsia or pink color shirt and my black shirt and some black boots because it's actually cold out here in Florida. It was 51 degrees this morning. I know for some of you that are in very cold temperatures, that's like nothing, but that's a big deal down here. And the sad thing is that it doesn't last because it already right now outside is in the 70s. But yesterday all day was in the 50s and 60s. It was very nice, but that's how it is here in Florida. The cold temperature doesn't last. It comes for a few days and then it leaves and then it's back to mild winters. But anyway, I am coming to you now at the end of the day. I have been so busy this week, if you saw from my last three-day vlog, and I have been drowning in data, getting all this data updated and looked at and grading new tests that the students took this week. They just finished taking another test today that I now have to give them a little bit more time tomorrow to finish because they didn't quite finish today. But a lot of them are pretty much done and they feel very confident in it. It's on factors, multiples, and number patterns. So I'm really looking forward to see what they did. I told them that for the last four tests, their averages have been in the 80s, mid 80s, and I challenged them to see if as a class they could get into the 90s. So we'll see how they do. And for reading this morning, they reread Spiders, and that was our main selection for unit two week four in our Wonders, and which is by McGraw-Hill. And then we read the paired passage. They also took the selection test on the spiders selection as well. And we didn't have time for writing. Actually, let me go ahead and show you our agenda for today. So here is today's agenda. That's what we did this morning for do now. This is social studies. We did get to social studies. We spent quite a while going over chapter two. We didn't take notes in our notebook. So hopefully tomorrow we can do that. We did all of this in ELA except for the writing and we did all of math and i don't know why i always think that the same day that i can do social studies i could do science but we didn't get to science because the students were still working in their topic assessment for math but that was our agenda for today so that's basically what we did today and we got to have a nice little treat surprise from one of my parents she brought in a little packet of munchkins for the kids so i'm going to insert a clip right here And as you saw, most of the students had already eaten their munchkins. They each got two munchkins. And yeah, they really were looking forward to that treat. They ate them pretty fast. But I did get a little bit so that you can see what they did at the end of the day. And that's how we concluded today, Thursday. And now we're looking forward to tomorrow, Friday. There's so many other things that I got to do because, oh, wow, I have this great idea that I want to do next week. I don't even know if I can do it. So I don't know. I'll let you know. And then I'll tell you all about it. So let me go ahead. I'm going to go to Girls on the Run right now, and I will catch up with you afterwards. And I'm back from Girls on the Run. It was a great practice. We have one more practice before we have our end of season party, which will be next Thursday, and it was great. I love spending time with these girls. They are amazing. They don't cease to amaze me, and I am looking forward to running the 5K with them on December 16th. So I'm back in my classroom and I wanted to show you some of the great work that the kids have made. They are pretty much finished with their balloon design for balloons over Broadway, along with their little persuasive friendly letter to Macy's. And I just have maybe five more students that need to finish, but they'll do it tomorrow. And I also want to show you some of the thankful trees that the students finished. I still am waiting for some kids to finish. 
And I have some new leaves for our falling into kindness writing activity that the kids did a few weeks ago. And I also wanted to show you, I created a little rubric to go along with it to help me kind of grade it. I'll show you better once I flip the camera around and I show you the other things. But I really love this activity and I'm looking forward to maybe putting it together and put it in my store at some point. There's such a long to-do list. And that is one of the things on there. So let me show you this work that the students have created. I'm very proud of them. So first and foremost, here is the balloon designs for their Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade after reading the story balloons over Broadway, which is this story right here. So we read this and it talked about the person behind the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade and the balloons that he designed. So they went ahead and they were asked to design a new balloon for the parade and write Macy's a little persuasive letter to go along with their design. So here are their designs. So I just wanna just scroll through so you can see they were very creative in creating these and I'm just so super proud of them. They use full color, they use as much space because I told them make sure you use the full space that is available to you on most cases. And I absolutely love kid drawings. I don't know about you, but I absolutely love it when kids start to draw and design. And sometimes they're like, oh, but I don't know how to draw. And I really encourage them because I tell them, if you can draw a line, you can draw because a drawing is just a bunch of lines that you put together. This is one of my favorites. All of them are my favorites. But this particular student loves Percy Jackson. So she decided to do a trident balloon for that. And then we have Homer Simpson, of course. So now let me show you the thankful trees that they wrote. And this was an informative paragraph on things that they were thankful for. And we created this activity after being inspired from another book that we read for Thanksgiving, which is this book right here, Giving Thanks, which is a Native American good morning message. I've already featured it, I think, twice in my vlogs before. So we read that and then the students had to brainstorm a list of the top 10 things that they were thankful for. And they used this as kind of like a brainstorming activity to kind of help them write their thankful tree paragraph. So these are the paragraphs right here. I'm just gonna flip through so that you can see their design and what they needed to write. And this one also has a rubric that I will create similar to the thankful leave the falling into kindness leaves, I shall say, activity that they wrote. So this is an informative paragraph and the falling into kindness writing activity was more of an opinion paragraph. Hold on, this was like sticky together. So yeah, these are all their thankful trees that they created and I can't wait to display them because I think they did a fantastic job. And these, they actually conferenced with me one-on-one -on -one so that I can tell them how they needed to revise and edit and improve. So these are their final products. Now, like I was mentioning before, this is the little rubric that I created for the falling into kindness, opinion writing, and the final product so that I can easily give them a grade and they know exactly what I was looking for, which is part of the directions that I gave them. And I tape this on the back of their leaf and that is where their grade is displayed. I have one similar to this for my summer short story that I will update and include so that if anybody uses it in the future for the summer short story, they can use it. And I'm also thinking, like I said, to put this together and put it on my TPT store. So I really wanted to showcase those assignments because I feel like they did a great job and I can't wait to put them up and showcase them. Another thing that I said yesterday that I was going to share today in today's video was the main selection story that they read about spiders. And I mentioned that they were kind of creeped out because the spider photos were so big. I wanna show you what I was talking about. So in our Wonders Anthology, that is where our story is. And wow, I just really turned to it right now. So this is a story, spiders, check that out. That is an actual photo of a giant spider. Actually, this is the biggest spider in the world according to this page. Is This is as big as this page. It's the Goliath bird eater tarantula. And then every single page in the story had big photos. This is my hand, little hand. This photo of the spider is bigger than my hand. This is a black widow. So they got to learn so much about these different spiders. And yeah, they were creeped out by it. And also they were really excited to learn all these cool facts about spiders. So today what they did is they reread this passage and they took their selection test. 
We also spent a great amount of time in social studies, like I mentioned before, and then we did our math, and like I said before, see, I'm repeating myself right now. I'm sorry, it's late. I need to get out of here. There's one more thing that I wanted to show you. I'm in the process of finishing my data binder. There's one particular sheet that I want to show you that I created. And I created it last year, but this year I added a math version because I'm teaching both reading and math this year and I needed to include it in my data binder. So I want to show you really quickly an example of that data sheet. So here is the data at a glance sheet that I wanted to share with you that I have. So this is the one that I kind of used last year for reading. And I put their FSA, which is our Florida Standards Assessment Level, and their scale score. And then I go into their different domains for that particular test, and I take the percentage that they got correct in each of those clusters. And then we discuss a goal level for this school year and how many points they need to reach it. So then I put it very big, the current level, the goal level. And here is where I have their iReady data with their scale score, their placement, their points to reach the next placement, and how they did in vocabulary comprehension literature and comprehension informational text. I also include their iReady scores from last year and I will also include their writing assessment scores and their reading assessment scores from their wonders. Now on the back, this is the new part that I added. So it's very similar on the top for math, except that this changes. And I did a kind of error because in third grade, these two clusters are one. So what I did after I had printed it, I just used like a whiting out tape and it covered this and this becomes like just one cell and that's where I put the percentage of how each student did and again they go to a goal level and I include their iReady data with the different domains for their math, their iReady data from third grade and their math topic assessments for each chapter in our Go Math. And this is my data at a glance. Each time the students take a test I will update their score at the bottom and then they will graph that score in their data trackers. So that's a little bit of data that I wanted to show you that I'm working on to update in my data binder. Once I have my full data binder ready, I have no problem showing it to you. I will have to cover some of the information, obviously. But if you are wondering what I include in my data binder as a teacher, then I will definitely share that with you and you can have maybe some ideas on how you can set up your data binder. Now I have to warn you, sometimes I go a little bit beyond what is expected, but the information in the binder does help me assess how the students are doing and if I need to remediate in any way that I need to. So that's all I have for you for now. I'm going to gather my things and leave because yesterday I stayed in school way too late if you saw that video. Yeah, I'm not doing that again today. So I'm going to gather my things, take my son, go home, and I'll see you all tomorrow for our Friday. Hello everyone, welcome to Friday, November 30th, 2018. It is the last day of November and tomorrow I will officially start Vlogmas and I can't wait. I'm also going to a teacher conference for the Idea Expo and I can't wait to see what I learned. I think I chose a lot of sessions that were STEAM or math related. So let's see how that is. And STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art and Mathematics. So since I'm back to teaching math and science this year, I thought it would be appropriate for me to do that. Plus I did put my developmental growth target for this year or my goal as a teacher for growing as a teacher this year to be math. So that's why I decided to go to those kind of sessions. So right now the students are in music and I will pick them up shortly. And I just wanted to give you an update on how our day has been progressing. It has been a pretty good day. Their behavior has been a lot better than it has been earlier in the week. So that's a plus. And they're right now finishing their Wonders Unit 2 Week 4 assessment. So once I pick them up from music, they'll finish the test. I'll give them their spelling test. We'll introduce chapter six, which is fractions. And then we'll have recess at the end of the day. So it is going to be a really good Friday. I am so glad it's Friday. Yes, TGIF. And also, I am wearing today one of my shirts from Lipstick and Littles, or that I got from Lipstick and Littles, and it says, I teach kids math and magic. This is one of my favorite shirts, and of course, I have my Lily Pop pastel rainbow lanyard with me as well. As always, I will link them down below if you're interested. And yeah, that's what we've been doing. We've been reviewing Main Idea this morning, and I did pull out my Main Idea poster that, or anchor chart, that I made at the Teacher Hard Out Conference. I haven't finished it because life as a teacher is busy. 
but I did put the little bit that I did on the board along with my notes that I was going over to go ahead and remind the students how we find the main idea. Let me show you that. So this is it right here. So I did these notes on the board and then this is the anchor chart that I started making at the Teacher Heart Out Conference at Chelsea's session. She's the hipster art teacher on Instagram. And I can't wait to finish that anchor chart and make more using the tips that Chelsea went over with us and it's so much fun. So the kids loved it and they really like going over the review of how we find the main idea. And as you can see around the classroom, they have their privacy shields out because they are currently in test mode. So they'll finish up right now when I pick them up from music and then we'll wrap up for Friday for testing and then we'll do some math. So yep, that's what we have planned for the rest of the day. All right, so I'm going to continue working and then I'll pick up the kids. So I will see you after school. Hello everyone, it is now the end of the day and I have been in my classroom working on different things and also filming a video for a collaboration that I'm doing tomorrow with a couple of other teacher tubers. So tomorrow you're gonna get double videos from me. So there's gonna be that video going up in the morning for the collaboration. And then in the evening, hopefully I have time to do it because it's the first day of Vlogmas. So I'll be vlogging all about my experience at the expo tomorrow, the conference, and of course, posting that video hopefully by Saturday evening, if not early into Sunday morning. So we'll see how it goes, but tomorrow's the beginning of Vlogmas and you're getting two videos from me tomorrow. So there's gonna be three videos this weekend. Plus this video should be going out today, Friday, cause I don't wanna be editing so many videos over the weekend. And this video will wrap up this school week so the day went well students did a great job they finished their reading test they also did their spelling test and they also took their little quiz on the five regions of the United States let me show you what that quiz looked like so this is a quiz and I did print them on two per page and basically it's the same map that they had in their textbook I just covered up all the names of the regions and put a box with a number gave them a word box so that they can label all the different regions of the United States so this is a quick social studies quiz that I'm going to grade and put in the gradebook for this grading period. So yeah, after we took our spelling test and our regions of the United States quiz, we packed up and we went for outdoor recess. The students had a great time. And while I was there, I passed out their progress report so that they take them home and their parents can see their progress so far. I told them that they still have four more weeks to bring up their grades if they would like, and they have a lot of opportunities to do so. So we're looking forward to what the next three weeks are gonna bring. And from now on, you will see me doing daily vlogs leading all the way up to December 25th. So I hope you come along with me on this journey of Vlogmas. This will be the second season that I'm doing Vlogmas. If you'd like to see how Vlogmas was last year, I will leave a link down below of the playlist that includes all of the Vlogmas videos from last year including a bloopers video on day 26 and my students loved it so much that they told me miss sanchez please do another bloopers video this year for vlogmas so i am going to try my best to do a bloopers video that will come out on the 26th which is the day after vlogmas finishes so i'm very excited to do all that and bring you some great content hopefully it's great content and you'll be able to get some great ideas that you can implement in your classroom if you are a teacher or thinking about teaching so that you can keep in mind different things that you could do in your classroom if that is what you like to do so basically that is pretty much all that we did today all that i have for you I just finished filming, I already said that, see? I'm already repeating myself because I have so many things in my head that I just forget what I said a few seconds ago. It happens. Um, actually, before I leave, this is very important, I'm going to put the camera on a tripod and do some speed through of me decorating the room into the holiday spirit so that the students, when they come in on Monday, see the classroom completely decorated for the holidays. Next week is Hanukkah and we are going to have Christmas in a couple weeks and I have a student in the class that celebrates Ramadan and Eid and even though it passed, we're still gonna talk about it. So I'm looking forward to that as well. So without further ado, let's get to the decorating and I'll catch up with you once I'm done.
All right, I just finished setting the classroom up with some holiday decorations, and I wanna show you some close-ups because I did tweak a couple of different places off camera, so I wanna show you right now what I did and how it looks overall. So here is our classroom library area. I will be taking down the leaves and also the turkeys that are on the math board and all that stuff so that we can leave space for the new holiday activities that we're doing. But I put these tinsel trees up here. There's a total of four. So there's a light green one, a green one, blue and pink. These two have little battery operated lights that look like stars. You saw me stringing the lights around the tree, but then off camera, I went ahead and I put the batteries in so they look super cute. And over here, I added these little decorations and this one actually lights up, but I need to get batteries for it. It says Merry Everything. Let me see if you can kind of see it because oh, there we go, like that. All right, and then here is a countdown till Christmas and this is set for Monday because on Monday will be 22 more days. And I love this. This is my new word for this year for the classroom. I will also put believe up there. I bought letters so I can put believe there. And it's not just for the holidays, but it's just the word that I wanna have the students focus on. Just like Bridget from the letter classroom uses the word choice and Michelle Ferre from Pocket Full of Primary uses the word impact. My word is believe. I was inspired by both of them. So that's the word that I chose. So I need to put those letters up there. And then over here, as you saw, I put the Christmas tree with Santa Claus and the menorah. I did put one candle because by Monday it will be the first candle lit for Hanukkah. And I put some dreidels here as well. And I put some lights right here where it says read, learn, and inspire. And then our kidney table right here on this side of the classroom, I just decorated with some simple decorations, but they look so cute. I decided to put these little ornaments in this plastic bowl that I got from Dollar Tree and my little snowman and another tinsel tree. So that is all ready to go. So the holiday season is officially here and I'm super excited and I can't wait to show you all everything that I have planned for the next three weeks, as I mentioned before. And I hope you enjoy coming along with me on this two-day vlog. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment down below, let me know what you thought or any questions you may have. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos. I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 1 and you will see a bonus video that I'm doing as a collab like I mentioned previously. I hope you have a beautiful magical day and don't forget to smile. Hello dreamers, wishers, and magical thinkers. Thank you so much for making it to the very end of this video and for showing your support. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do so by clicking on my picture down here. You can also check out my latest videos here and here. Don't forget to believe in the magic that's inside you because you are capable of great things. See you next time.